Hello everybody, welcome to instrumentation training channel. Now in today's video, I am going to discuss different coil type timers used in Siemens PLC for programming. Here is a tabular form of different types of coil type timers in Siemens PLC programming. There are five different coil type timers used in PLC. On delay timer coil. This is the notation used in PLC for this timer. On delay timer coil used for delaying on condition of the output. This output coil type timer needs one extra input contact to turn on its output. Reset coil from the bit instructions need to be used separately to reset the timer. The next one is off delay timer coil. And this is the notation used in PLC for this timer. Off delay timer coil used for delaying the off condition of the output. The output coil type timer needs one extra input contact to turn on its output. Reset coil from the bit instruction need to be used separately to reset the timer. Next one will be the pulse timer coil. And this is the notation used in PLC for this timer. When the timer receives a positive pulse from the input, it enables and using the timer input contact, it enables output coil. The timer will be in on condition as long as the input condition is on or the accumulator value reaches the preset value. If the input changes from 1 to 0 before the timer interval has elapsed, the timer stopped along with disabling output. Reset coil from the bit instructions need to be used separately to reset the timer. And the next one will be extended pulse coil. And this is the notation used in PLC for this timer. When the timer receives a positive pulse at the input, it enables the output as long as the preset value is set for the timer. This signal state at the output is at 1 as long as the timer is running. If the input to the timer changes from 1 to 0 before the time interval has elapsed, the timer continues to run and enables output until the accumulator value reaches a preset value. Reset coil from the bit instructions need to be used separately to reset the timer. And the last one will be return to on delay timer. This is the notation used in PLC for this timer. As same as on delay timer, except it does not need input condition to remain on. It needs one single pulse to turn on a timer. Reset coil from the bit instructions need to be used separately to reset the timer. As per the below tabular form, the upper question marks are the time num timer number and the lower question marks are the timer preset value. And thanks for watching. We'll meet again in another interesting instrumentation video. Please like, share, subscribe. And also don't forget to click on bell icon to receive notification on interesting updates.